According to the mainstream media and government sources, success and prosperity is measured by the current state of the stock market and the unemployment rate. Today, we'll discuss and unveil the fraud, which continues to proudly hide in plain view. We watch as countless individuals are left without jobs, forced to find temporary or part-time work, need to take on some sort of social assistance, such as food stamps, and pray each and every day that this fairy tale can continue indefinitely. There is an epidemic in this world, and it's spreading like a virus. Let's begin with this article out of CNBC. We're going to talk about the stocks. They look like they were down about 3% for the week. We're getting these numbers out of CNBC. And what they said was, You've got a buyer's strike and a lot of buyers anxious to get out ahead of a long weekend, ahead of pent-up news out of China. And then they basically said that the stocks in China are going to reopen Monday after a four-day weekend ahead of several regional reports on trade and inflation due next week. So what we have here is going to be an issue next week where the stock markets are going to reopen in China and all these numbers are coming out and that's going to make a big difference for what happens. Now they can fudge the numbers, they can push them up or they can show where they're really at. But regardless, we'll have to see how it all plays out. Now, the whole you have a buyer strike deal, I, I mean, I just can't understand the way that they talk about this. It's as if people really do believe it. There is no buyer strike. And the way I look at it is, you have all of these algorithms trading on particular sets of data. If they don't have that data, then the stocks aren't trading. You can see that with the the volume on any given day or any particular stock. Look for the volume and you can see how much is actually being traded on that given day. Or you can look for the week and so on. So this right here is sort of a little bit um, misleading. Let's Go on to the next article, and uh, we're looking at this out of CNS News. And basically what they're saying here is that a record 94 million Americans are not in the labor force. And when you think about that, we're basically at 100 million people not in the labor force. That's almost one-third the population of the U.S., not working. Now, of course, it's not just, you know, the adults who are in this number, that's everyone, that's senior citizens, that's children, but it's still an extremely high rate when you think about it, just from the taxpayer's point of view. The participation rate is stuck at a 38-year low for the third straight month. You're at decades low right now, and if I scroll down here, we can see this right here. The jobs numbers, 261,000 more than July and so on. What I want to note about these jobs numbers is that every single time they bring this information out, you can see the fraud. People were let go the month before they get rehired. Those are considered new jobs. If somebody doesn't recognize this truth I can't really help them because it's so clear and obvious. And what they said here was the labor force participation rate stayed stuck at 62.6%. That's the 38-year low. The number of Americans done in the labor force has continued to rise, partly because of the retiring baby boomers and fewer workers entering the workforce. But what about those who can't find work? There are many people who are, we'll call them senior citizens, 65 plus, who would classify for old age uh, security and all of these sort of deals, but they can't afford to live off of that. 
So they have to get back into work. But what kind of jobs do they get? Well, they get low-paying jobs, temporary jobs, if any. Some of them have said that they do not uh, they intend on retiring at all because they simply can't afford it. Not that they enjoy going to work, but they can't afford to retire. So to connect that in with this here, I have the official statistics out of the BLS. And what we're looking at is the civilian labor force participation rate. And you can see it's so obvious declining year over year over year. We see less people in the workforce if you want to know how to calculate the real level of unemployment, just look at the labor force participation rate for a better idea. Less people are working now than they were decades ago, yet the population has increased, yet there are so many different factors. Why? Number one, you have jobs that have been shipped offshore, you have the automation which is removing a lot of jobs, and basically you have this displacement of jobs that is occurring. You also have an economy where the businesses do not want to hire as many as they did previously in many businesses prior to the financial crisis still haven't come up to where they were in terms of the amount of people on their payroll. So a lot of things have certainly changed. Let's move on to this right here. As we look at the unemployment rates, and this is Europe, but it applies to anywhere across the world. And this happens to be Greece at the very top, 25.6%. These numbers are from May, if I'm not mistaken, and there are fairly accurate government statistics. Now, you would obviously have to factor in the fact that they do fudge these numbers. I'm sure it's even worse than they say, but let's just go by their numbers for a moment here. Greece at 25.6% is an extremely high number. And then even going uh, throughout Spain and Cyprus, Croatia, Italy, Portugal, Slovakia, all of these countries have very high rates of unemployment. And this spells disaster for the future. I am very concerned about what is happening here with the unemployment rates. And we can see this very clearly. We can use their statistics or we can use the independent statistics, and it all lines up together. And then I just want to show you this. What happens when you have a crisis? What happens when you have high unemployment rates? Well, you have a situation that is here in this CBS article. There were no disruptions Thursday night during the last of Mayor Rahm Emanuel, the godfather, there's three town hall meetings on next year's Chicago city budget, but there wasn't much time for much else either. 70 people spoke in 100 minutes, and basically they said, you're increasing the property taxes, and we do not like that one bit. So what's happening here is an increasing of the taxation, a revaluation of the currency. We see all sorts of different ways that they can steal from us. This happens to be taxation, and this is going to continue. It's a policy that is in place everywhere. Whenever you have trouble with your government, all you need to do is raise more money. Well, how do you do that? Well, some like to use their central bank, buy up the bonds, and some like to buy up the shares of the stock market, but it doesn't matter. All we see is that the government steps in and tries to pick up the pieces. What they can do, and what they often do, is increase taxation. Politically, not the best idea, but it's an easy way to get some money, some income in quickly rob from the citizens. That's the solution that they have provided for the economic downturn. You just tax people to death. If you found this video informative, please give me a thumbs up. Once again, I'm still struggling here with the trying to do this from the mobile. Clearly, as you can tell here, it is late at night and it is long past bedtime. But just wanted to give you this information that I could. I'll post this as soon as possible. So if you found the video informative, I know you'll find my other work informative as well. If you want some more free information, check out the free ebooks that I have. 
check out my free e-course. The e-course is amazing because it really gets into information that other YouTubers don't get into and you certainly didn't learn in school. And it basically outlines it for you. You get to learn about all different things. What is a bail-in? What is this and that? Breaking it all down, simple, easy to understand diagrams from my book. And that is all available at themoneygps.com. Take care.